Hello and welcome gorgeous Scorpio to your weekly reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for you. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading. This is how Spirit speaks directly to you. Remain positive. Perhaps there's a situation at the moment or coming up this week where it's going to be easy to slip into negativity or negative thoughts so it's so important to remain positive and to check in with your thinking in a conscious way um, and that's going to open up the blessings and abundance a beautiful gift from spirit here um, that wants to shower down upon you you can see here in the image that if you remain positive in this situation no matter what it is no matter what the situation is you're going to be showered with uh, positivity and blessings back ask for help from others okay so there's a need to ask for help perhaps and you'll know if that's true for you um, you may also be a helper or a healer yourself I do see that for some people here I feel that it's your profession or it's your passion or it's your life purpose it could be a combination of these things but I do see that you're a helper or a healer Guidance for Scorpio, please, spirit, angels and guides, bring through a message for Scorpio. Respect. You value everyone's unique perspective on the path to love. So there's a maybe there's an issue around respect in a relationship at the moment. You'll know if this is right. It might be in the workplace, it might be in your community might be in a personal relationship that you have but respect is the key maybe some action is needed if someone is not giving you the respect that you you deserve but some kind of action is needed if you have an impulse a feeling a desire to do something or say something if you have an inspiration especially if you have an inspiration then take action you have the courage to express the unique, loving colors of your soul. Beautiful. Um, so, yeah, taking an action that feels right in your heart is what I'm seeing. Guidance for Scorpio, please, Spirit. Angels and guides, ring through a message for Scorpio, please. Loved one in heaven. Thank you, loved ones in heaven, for drawing close at this time. So you have a beautiful soul in heaven that's watching out for you, watching over you. They have an angelic-like presence. Uh, they are connected to you more than you realize. You can pray to them. You can connect with them through talking to them, which I'm sure that you do. But they want you to know that they're very present in your life. Beautiful message there. Manifesting miracles. Thank you, Orion, for manifesting your miracles in my world. Okay, so I feel that for some, this is um, this is your loved one helping manifest in your life with you. Um, Co-creator type of energy. Manifesting a beautiful miracle um, might in fact be connected to asking for help from others or connections with others and maybe this loved one in heaven it may be um, someone in your life but place that energy where it fits but there's definitely a sense here of help or manifesting with another's help guidance for scorpio please spirit angels and guides bring through a message for scorpio please the weasel be silent, pay attention, and simply observe with your eyes, ears, and physical feelings what is happening inside and all around you. Okay, so pay attention to your intuition. Pay attention with insight. Insight into what your heart is saying, what your instincts are telling you. Be silent in a situation. Maybe you don't reach out to someone. Maybe you don't start a conversation. Uh, maybe you don't make the first move. 
It could be that. Uh, listen with your physical feelings, your eyes, your ears. There's something here that's going to be known. A truth is going to be revealed. The chameleon. Stay in the background and adapt to the situation rather than being conspicuous and attempting to direct the course of events. So it kind of goes hand in hand with the energy of the weasel where you're being silent, you're just paying attention or you're just listening rather than and observing rather than actively participating. Stay in the background in some way is important to blend in. Okay, so that's the energy there. Now that might just be for a particular scenario this week for you, but place that energy where it fits for you. The Five of Cups. The Five of Cups means that there is sadness, disappointment, um, there's a loss. You can see in this image that there's a loss here. You may have lost someone recently or maybe not even recently, but they're coming through here. A loved one in heaven is coming through with these two cards. You're moving on or you will move on in a powerful way for you, in a healing way for you. If this is a disappointment that you've had recently um, or that's coming in soon for you, don't be disheartened. Just get back in the flow of things and you'll start to see things uplift. Maybe focus on others rather than yourself at the moment. The Nine of Swords. You may be anxious about something. There might be worry. There might be uh, something looming that you can sense or you can see or you know there's something looming over you, whether that's a, um, to do with, you know, a, a gathering. Um, I do see for some this is a, a meeting of some kind, a gathering, a meeting. Um, try not to let it bother you too much mentally, okay? Don't let it keep you up at night. The spirit's got this. Spirit has got this. You have your loved ones in heaven helping you and there, there may be a miracle here there may be a drastic positive turnaround that happens I'm seeing that I'm seeing that the two of cups a romantic connection perhaps the two of cups means that there's an emotional connection between you and someone a bond that is so strong you're connected to someone or something in a very powerful way feeling your emotions and I do feel an empathic energy here so if you're an empath just watch your emotions uh, make sure that you know it's not coming from another person you're picking up on energies in an environment perhaps make sure it's your own energy because there might be a blurred line there I'm seeing for some empaths this week the eight of swords not being able to communicate or kind of feeling a bit stuck in a situation a bit trapped so, okay, that, that goes hand in hand with the Nine of Swords, actually, with the sleepless nights and the anxiety, the worry. Um, you know, the answer here is to just kind of keep your head down, l uh, lay low. Don't kind of be this chameleon. Pay attention. Be silent, though. Um, yeah, that's the energy that I'm sensing there. The Wheel of Fortune. What a great sign for you because it means that things are going to be turning up for you. This is a wonderful sign. It means that there's going to be good fortune. Things are turning up. There is a wheel in motion where fortune is and, and luck and, and blessings will be flowing your way very soon. Also, I'm, I'm being told by spirit that this might be a timing thing. Okay. There's a timing or you're heading in two different directions with someone at the moment. Something might be out of your control in this way. The Hierophant. Definitely a spiritual connection with someone with the Two of Cups and the Hierophant. You hold the keys. You hold the keys to unlocking the answers. And Spirit's helping you with this. Your loved one in heaven is helping you with this to unlock a miracle, manifest a miracle for you in a situation this is the teacher card. You may be a teacher perhaps or in training to be a teacher. You might be a student, but there's a teacher-student dynamic happening here. You may also be learning through uh, your life in lessons at the moment. 
Let's take a look at the pendulum. If you have a question you'd like to ask Spirit through the pendulum, you're quite welcome to think of that question now. And the answer is yes. So check in with your intuition, see if this resonates for you or not. You can trust your instincts with this. It's been wonderful to read for you today. I hope spirit has come through clearly for you. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.